Storytime friends. Welcome to Storytime at Home. I'm Miss Amanda from the Stone Monroe Falls Public Library. Today, I have stories for you that are all about sounds, all sorts of sounds. I wonder what kinds of things you hear around the house, what kinds of things you hear outside. I wonder if any of you have any instruments in your house. I have a story for you that's called Paco and the Drum. There is Paco. What animal is Paco? Yes, she is a frog. And this is by Matthew Forsyth. And she has a drum. A frog with a drum? That's kind of interesting. Hmm. So here is some little pictures of all sorts of interesting places around where Paco lives. She's got all sorts of mushrooms and leaves and grasses. Paco and the Drum by Matthew Forsyth. The biggest mistake Paco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before. Like the slingshot. Ooh. I wonder where she's gonna end up. And the llama. Oh, a llama in Paco's house? Where are Paco's parents? Do you see their feet? Yes. They are underneath the llama. Oh no. And the balloon. Oh, where's Paco going? Oh no, poor Paco. But the drum was the biggest mistake. Why do you think it would be the biggest mistake? Hmm. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. Uh-oh. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds wonderful, dear, oh, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. There's Paco in the bed with them, banging on her drum. How do you think your grown-ups would feel if you were banging on your drum in bed with them? I don't think they would like it. The next day, her father said, Paco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom, and we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Mm. They live in a mushroom, that's kind of cool. Paco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. Shh. It had just rained, and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. Do you see some sparkling here? I see some sparkling. I see some other animals too. I see somebody down here. And it was very, very quiet. Hmm, what do you think Paco's gonna do? Too quiet. Hmm, look at her face. She's ready, isn't she? Paco started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company. But something stirred behind her. Uh-oh. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her. So Paco hit her drum louder. <laughs> so exciting. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them. But Paco kept playing her drum. This sounds great, right? A raccoon with a banjo and a rabbit with a trumpet. And then a wolf who couldn't really play anything but was very happy to be near the music joined in. And Paco still played her drum. But then the wolf ate the rabbit and Paco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, no more eating band members or you're out of the band. 
I'm sorry, said the wolf, and he meant it. It's good to say you're sorry. And then they all started playing again, and soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments. Oh my goodness, look at these. Some of these animals are tricky to figure out what they are. Look, a turtle playing a trumpet, I think. And then over here, there's a bird playing a mandolin, and there's a, a mouse playing a little keyboard, and it looks like another trumpet with a, a rhino, maybe? All sorts of different animals. and a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. And they were all following Paco. That is so great. <laughs> Look at her, she's so happy. Paco, your dinner is ready, shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. Huh. And the music grew louder. Oh, look at his face. And louder. Until the crowd swept through the house and carried Paco's parents off into the woods. Oh, oh no, look, the soup is gone. Look, her mother was reading a book. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. I think that's Paco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What, said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they all would have agreed. And that is the end of Paco and the Drum. This next book is an alphabet book, but it's all about sounds. So every letter of the alphabet has a sound in here that starts with that letter. Huh, I wonder if you can follow along. It should be easy for you to see the alphabet letters and then I'll help and we'll sound out the words together. So this is called Eek, A Noisy Journey from A to Z. This is by Julie Larios and Julie Pashkis. <gasps> Look, and here they are, all our alphabet letters, all over. <gasps> this kind of reminds me of alphabet soup a little bit. Does it remind you of that? It's kind of backwards though, because usually alphabet soup is red with yellowish letters, but this is yellow with reddish letters. Hmm. Eek! A noisy journey from A to Z. What letter does eek start with? E, that's right. Oh look, we've got a little mouse who's picking a flower. And here she's taking the flower away. It says this journey is for Jackson. Whoop-dee-doo, that's from Julie Larios. And Julie Poshke says, and of course, for eek, Eric, Ernst K. Those must be people they know, Jackson and Eric. A. Achoo! Uh oh, the flower made her sneeze. B. Bzzz. There's bzzz. C. Chirp. D. Ding-a-ling, 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 ding-a-ling. Ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling. There's our little mouse. There's the bee. Oh, all of these things are all coming together. <gasps> eek! Uh-oh. Why is the mouse saying eek? because that bell was on a cat's neck. <sighs> Scary. F, Fwump. uh oh. The cat fell over because who's it scared of? The dog, and the dog goes 
Grrr. G. Oh, but the dog belonged to this one right here. That's interesting. Yeah, a crocodile or an alligator, you think? And it says H. Harumph. I guess that's what the, that crocodile is saying. Harumph. <laughs> Ooh, ick. I for ick. Ooh, what's that? I think the dog left it behind. <laughs> and here we have J for jering, jering, jering. It's the bicycle bell. Oh no! K! Kabonk! <gasps> what happened to the poor turtle? Yes! The bicycle! Oh no! And the raccoon's falling off! Oh dear! Everybody wants to help. La la la! Oh, L for la la la! The turtle's fine because it has its shell to protect it. But who isn't fine? Oh no, the raccoon says, ma, ma. M for ma, poor raccoon. Oh, I think someone knows how to cheer up a raccoon or a kid. Yep, the polar bear brought some ice cream and that is N for num num. Oops, uh-oh, the ice cream fell off. O for oops, but look, where's it going? Oh, oh plop, P, plop, quack, quack, Q for quack. I wonder what the duck's gonna do. The duck is leading the parade, look at all the animals. Ra ra, R for ra ra, S for sis boom ba. They're having a parade and going ra ra sis boom ba. T is for ta da, ta da. U is for uh oh. Oh no, why are we saying uh-oh? Do you see? Do you see why we're saying uh-oh? <gasps> Vroom! Look at that, the tree, and then a car going right by all the center of everything. Vroom! V for vroom! And W for wee! And lastly, X, X, O, X, O, X, O. What does X, O mean? Hugs and kisses. And Y for Yahoo! There's a lion here at the end. Z for The end. We're talking all about sounds, and I have some cool musical instruments I want to share with you. I'm thinking that I can make up a story about these musical instruments where they remind me of something I hear in real life. I wonder if you have any instruments at home. Hmm, I think I can make up a story here. Let's see. It begins when I'm sitting in my house with the windows open and I hear a little sound. Oh, it's the birds. The birds are chirping outside. Oh my goodness, they sound so lovely. I think I'll go for a walk. So I walked outside and I saw some flowers. Oh, the flowers are beautiful. As I walked toward them, I heard a sound coming from the flowers. Can you think of who that might be? Yes, that's right. It's the bees buzzing all around the flowers. 
Oh, the beautiful flowers, they smell so good and the bees love them. As I walked by the flowers, I decided to take a turn and go down toward the pond. When I got to the pond, there were all sorts of noises there. First, I heard this noise. <coughs> oh my goodness, it was the ducks. <coughs> <laughs> the ducks can be very loud, can't they? Yes, and next, after I heard the ducks quack, underneath there, a little bit quieter, I heard the sound of... That's right, the wood frogs. The frogs were very loud too, but not as loud as the ducks. Next, I turned the corner after the pond and I went down the street toward town. I heard a very interesting noise there. I wonder what that could be, I thought. It kept going and then it got faster. Oh my goodness! And then it got even faster. And then it went all the way to a stop. I know, I said. It's the roller coaster at the kitty park. That's what that is. Well, I kept on going toward town, but I felt a couple of little drops on my skin. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, do you hear it? It's starting. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. Oh, no. It's raining. Oh, dear. It's starting to really rain now. I better get home. So I kept running and running home in the rain. And on my way, I heard one more big sound way off in the distance. Oh, the train! Oh, as I got in the front door and I closed it behind me, I shook myself off. Ooh, it's a little cold. Can't wait to have some hot cocoa. Now, I wonder if you have some things you can make some sounds with. If you have some musical instruments, like maybe some shakers, that's great. But what if you don't? Well, you can make sounds with paper. You can crinkle it, or you can go back and forth and whoosh it like wind. Or you can get some plastic and make the plastic make noises. Or you can put some water in a water bottle and slosh it back and forth. There are all sorts of things. Oh, what about pots and pans? You can use some spoons and make some noises on there. I wonder what you'll come up with, and I wonder what story you'll tell. This is a great song where we all get to make animal noises. We have Rooster out here because the song is called I Love My Rooster. So this is a song many of the grown-ups here might remember. And here's how it goes. I love my little rooster and my rooster loves me. Gonna feed my rooster neath the green big tree. And my little rooster goes cock-a-doodle-doo. Isn't that fun? All right, next we're gonna feed our cat. And then we'll get to feed the rooster again. So here we go, ready? I love my little cat, and my cat loves me. Gonna feed my cat neath the yonder tree. My little cat says meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster says cock-a-doodle-doodle-wee doodle All right, next we are gonna feed dog. Here comes dog. Oh, dog looks so sad. We better feed him. All right, here we go, ready? I love my little doggy and my doggy loves me. Gonna feed my dog neath yonder tree. My little dog says woof, woof, woof. And my little cat says meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster says, cock a doodle doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee doo. All right, and one last animal here. We've got to get the hen in here. So here's the hen. That's the girl chicken, and this is the boy chicken. So the hen, what does the hen say? Cluck, cluck. That's right. So we'll do hen, and then we'll do all our other animals one more time. 
I love my little hen and my hen loves me. Gonna feed my hen neat the yonder tree. And my little hen says cluck, cluck, cluck. And my little dog says woof, woof, woof. And my little cat says meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster says cock a doodle doo. This is based on the book Oink a Doodle Moo by Jeff Chekai. This is going to be a little bit different. You can use any animals you want when you retell this story. It began one day on the farmyard and Pig went over to Horse. Pig said to Horse, Psst, I have a secret. Oh, what is it? And Pig went into Horse's ear and said, Oink. Oh, that's a good one. And so, Horse went over and found somebody else to tell. Horse went over and found Crow. Crow was sitting up on a tree. And Horse said to Crow, hey, I've got a secret. And Crow said, oh, what is it? And Horse said, oink nay. Oh, oink nay, good one, good one. And so it went on. Next, Crow wanted to tell the secret to another animal. And so she flew up higher in the tree and woke up Owl. Crow said to Owl, ready, you can follow along with me. Oink, nay, caw. <laughs> Oink, nay, caw, I like that. And so on went Owl and found somebody else to tell the secret to. This time, it was cat. <sighs> hey, we've got a secret. It's oink, nay, ka, who? <gasps> Ooh, oink, nay, ka, who? Okay, got it, got it. Now, cat wanted to tell someone who I know. I'll go tell frog. And so cat went down to frog and said, <gasps> Oink, nay, ka, who, meow. Oh, that's a good secret. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. And then, frog went to dog. Hey dog, I got a secret. <gasps> you do? I love secrets. Okay, what is it? It's oink, nay, ka, who, meow, ribbit. Oh, okay, wait, uh, could you do that again? Sure, okay, it's oink, nay, ka, who, meow, ribbit. Oh, uh, okay, okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna go tell somebody. I'm gonna go tell the secret, okay, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, pig, 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 oh, pig, pig, okay, I got a secret, I need to tell you, quick, it's oink, nay, Cob, meow, ribbit, who? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, dear. <gasps> That's okay. We can start again. Psst, I've got a secret. Oink. The end.